What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another video. Now in today's video, we'll be talking about Nova Launcher with our first tutorial, how to make Nova Launcher the default launcher. Now making Nova Launcher the default launcher is important because if you don't set it as the default, your phone is going to revert back to its actual default launcher. Now the goal is to make a list of tutorials about Nova Launcher, starting with the basics and diving deeper into the app since the app is so feature rich. And as for this video, it's featured on the Nova Launcher Prime playlist, so you can find information related to this topic quickly and easily. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. Now the first step is to look for the Nova Settings app. This is very important because if you did opt for Nova Launcher Prime, you can see that we also have that as an app icon. But if you click on that, that's just going to take you to the app info. So you specifically want to click on Nova Settings. So here we are at the home page of Nova Launcher Prime 7. It's just a list of settings, which is why the page is called Nova Settings. And within each setting is another list. So that gives you an idea of how feature rich this app is. Now again, we're going to set Nova Launcher 7 as the default launcher. I recommend this as the very first step you should do for this app. So we're going to scroll down until we see select default launcher. Now when I tap on this, my camera is unfortunately going to go away. So here we are, this opens a new page, default home app. And you want to make sure that Nova 7 is selected. Now, a lot of phones will have a pre-installed launcher. You can see that I have One UI Home. That is the default launcher for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. And as you can see, I did select Nova 7. So we can back out of here by tapping on the arrow in the top left hand corner. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you're watching on YouTube and have any questions or comments, as always, drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now, there are three ways you can support the content. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or would buy and anything you buy from the storefront does support the content. The next way you can show your support is just by sharing this video with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way you can show your support is just by clicking the subscribe button. Now liking and subscribing are important because those are your ways to vote on whether you like the content. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers and listeners. If new viewers and listeners see likes and subscribers, they're going to think that the content is helpful, worth watching, and listening to. As always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon checking out. Yeah.